At home, we're 28 and 2. So that's pretty good. Yeah. That's <laughs> as a team, we're hitting 311. Wait, you, as a team, you're hitting 311? Yeah. yeah. And we have, we're hitting 103 home runs. And the record, la we set the record last year in the league is 64. That was a record in our league, 64. Wow. And this year, we, we've already set the bar at 103. Now, that's phenomenal. That's hitting the ball. Yeah, that's that's like super hitting the ball. Like, oh, yeah. that's a lot of that's a lot of home runs for a yeah, squad a as a whole. Well, most teams in our league have about sixteen to twenty, so they fear us in that respect. And it's hard work. It's, it goes to the weight room. We have a we had a great uh, fall weightlifting program, which we continue throughout the season. Oh. You know, uh, Angie and Drew in the weight room uh, did a great job. Especially Angie worked hard with us. And they continue to weight lift throughout the, this, the season here, uh, twice a week. Uh, so we feel we're stronger. And uh, we had a good fall ball. We, the girls worked hard. And we, did, we didn't have bad weather. We were able to stay outside. After speaking with Coach Cheek, I wanted to find out if the girls felt like it was the weather also. For us doing so well, it feels awesome because as a freshman and a sophomore and a junior, we didn't do well. And it's finally a year we're finally in postseason, and it's amazing to finally be in postseason. And to be close to the home run record, it's cool to be almost to 28 and breaking the NCAA record. But overall, it's, it's awesome that we're in postseason, finally. I'm fully confident that we can go and make it to the national tournament. We have to win the next five games straight, and we're in the national tournament. And there, I think, once we're there, I think we can win it for sure, because we have a freshman pitcher on the mound that's taken us all the way, and then we're hitting so well this year, and th those together, we have a great team. Coming in as a freshman, I knew last year was rough pitching-wise, so I just came out here, worked hard, hoped to do as best as I could for our team, and really, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better offense or defense to help my job. I mean, it's made it a lot easier by just coming in, and I'm boosted my confidence a lot to know that we can hit home runs left and right. I mean, so I just have to go out there and throw as many strikes as possible, keep the batters off. Um, to be honest, I mean, we've played San Diego. This will be our sixth time. We've played St. Martin's before. So I know we just need to go out there and do our best, play our game, not try to do anything fancy, and I think we'll come out on top. As far as going past that, we just really need to take a deep breath and realize that we're here to play softball and we shouldn't make it any harder hey, than sure it actually is. We just need Humble State's women's softball team went on to win all the games in the tournament and they're one step closer to nationals. This is Anthony Fluker reporting for the Lumberjack.